A wrestler's entrance is so important it can make or break them. I mean, one of the reasons I think The Undertaker had such longevity is because his walk to the ring was so damn cool, you'd buy a ticket to see it live. As ever, many a performer has then decided the best way they can take advantage of this is to add their personality to it. And well, the results have been mixed. So I'm Sam from What Culture. Please do subscribe. This is 10 wrestlers who performed their own theme songs. Number 10, Chris Jericho and Judas. Chris Jericho was always going to do something different when he arrived in AEW. He decided years ago to always reinvent himself. So given he was arriving in a brand new promotion, no way we were going to get anything that we'd seen before. On this occasion, this included a brand new entrance song. While he had used Break the Walls Down for most of his WWE career, this was the time to throw his entire being into his ring walk, so he went for a song that he and his band Fozzy had written. Now, this was quite the gamble given how wrestling fans can be, but man, was this an inspired choice. Not only did it just click, but the audience loved it so much it became par for the course that as soon as the opening riff hit, everyone just sang along. This instantly gave it a cool factor too and really now has cemented itself as a classic theme, so that damn Jericho did it again. There's a reason why many call him the GOAT. Number 9, John Cena and the time is now. Want to know the genius of John Cena's long-time entrance music? The start of it. Much like Stone Cold Steve Austin's Glass Break or CM Punk's TV static, the whole dun 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 whipped fans into such a frenzy and by the time do 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 hit, that was it. We got booze, we got cheers. Naturally, the champ was here. It also gained cult status as the chant John Cena sucks fit so well and of course, after a few beats, the man himself started to rap the lyrics. It would tie into his gimmick from years prior that we'll talk about more later and while I doubt he's ever going to win a war for his style, Cena was more than fine, and I tell you, I kind of like it. The most important aspect is that if he came out to anything else now, it just wouldn't work. And that means he got it right. Number eight, Ted DiBiase, and it's all about the money. The Million Dollar Man is an all-time gimmick. Such was the dedication to the cause, Vince McMahon even plowed Ted with real cash, so if anyone saw him outside of the wrestling bubble, they'd really believe he was rich. I mean, that's the way to do it. It also tied into the fact that this guy had a huge ego, so despite his wealth, decided he would use his own voice to sing his entrance song. And to be fair, singing is a bit much as he basically talks to us throughout, but the best part is that this is all themed around his finances and that eventually he will buy everyone. That's brilliant. You also get the iconic laugh to kick it off, and while Ted didn't partake in the money, 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 money part of his theme, it just ensures that you hate him instantly. This is one of my favorites. Number seven, The Rock and Know Your Role. Man, The Rock loved doing this, didn't he? Not only do multiple variations of his theme music have him saying, if you smell what The Rock is cooking, but every now and then he would drop in some speaking too. He had the whole, The Rock says, The Rock, The Rock, Know Your Role. It was weird. Much like Cena, though, him shouting his catchphrase just sent people loopy instantly, which is always a joy, and he's pretty much had the same style of song for over 20 years. I don't think that just happens. Even when he was Hollywood rock, he did a slower version of this, so he must have been a fan of it, and I can see why. If he ever does come back to, you know that you'll just get more of this, and is anybody going to complain? No. Number six, the honky tonk man and cool cocky bad. As ever, when the honky tonk man comes up, we must remember that this guy thought the best way to success in wrestling was to pretend to be Elvis. Just sit with that for a while. He was a right ass, though, to the point he decided, as he was paying homage to a musical great, he should sing a song fitting of the king. The opening line of this theme is the best as honky goes, I've got long side burns and my hair slipped back. I'm gonna do your town in my pit Cadillac. As if we couldn't just see this with our own eyes. Also, I have no idea what he's talking about. Seriously, though, could anybody have come up with anything better than this for such a character? I don't think so. And while the whole presentation is nonsense, it has stood the test of time. Another classic. Number five, Mickey James and Hardcore Country. I mean, this one was just smart. As well as a wrestler, Mickey James is also a country singer. So much like Chris Jericho, why not use one of your own songs to accompany you to the ring? Mainly associated with her time in TNA, James was also allowed to use it when she appeared at the 2022 Royal Rumble, which was really cool, especially because it got a massive pop, the fans approved. It's also a genuinely good song and shows Mickey is quite the talent in this area and likely has the added benefit of getting more people to check out her music. That's a win-win. I'll always have a soft spot for that perky tune she used for most of her WWE run, but you'd be hard pushed to say this switch 
didn't go pretty well. Number four, Shawn Michaels and Sexy Boy. Shawn Michaels is one of the best wrestlers ever. You can find dozens of his matches that are all time, and yet for every single one he came out to Sexy Boy, one of the most bizarre entrance themes there is. If we did something similar for someone in 2022, the internet would melt down saying this is the end and this guy is toast because one, who would chat over their own music, and two, who would tell us over and over again that they were a sexy boy. Just proves that sometimes you do actually have to let things play out. It did fit his character perfectly in the early 90s though when he was playing the heartbreak kid to great effect and Sean is one of those individuals who kept the same music for essentially their entire career. It was always greeted with noise too even if it did start with someone else going ha ah, ah, ha Sean. Seriously, this one really odd. Number three, John Cena and Basic Thugonomics. This ties into what we spoke about earlier with one small difference. This John Cena theme is the better of the two and an absolute banger. Like many of this list, it sold the persona before you'd even seen him. And once again, John does more than a fine job on the vocals as he's allowed to rap with far more attitude than he was given during his later years. If you were around for Cena's rise, this will still get you to pop today because it just riles something up within you. And for proof of this, just go back to WrestleMania 35. Fan Fans hadn't heard it in ages, so when he busted it out in order to run down Elias, it was a true trip down memory lane and a wonderful classic. Number two, our truth and what's up. This is just fun. A word that sums up our truth latter part of his career, him wrapping himself to the ring and getting a crowd to shout what's up as he does it has never failed to entertain. Interaction with fans is always smart, which is why it's kind of weird that during Truth's most successful run in WWE, he came out to no music at all. That was the whole point of course, but it was sorely missed and let's face it, do can spit bars as his albums have proved and it's a big reason why he's always been so popular with the audience. I mean he has good vibes anyway, but this is what put him over the top, even if I always think the lyrics are, now I'm over here, now I'm over there, where I'm going next, I think I'll stay right here. And in case you've never looked them up and are about to, don't bother because they definitely aren't that. Number one, Tyler Breeze and mmm gorgeous. This is like everything we've already talked about coming together in one, because we've got some Ted DiBiase, some Shawn Michaels, and it let you know exactly who Tyler Breeze was instantly. A guy more concerned with his looks than the match ahead, his music ensured he was insufferable as he told us how great he was. I even think he talks about his amazing eyebrows. It also paints a wonderful impression for those in the arena, and Breeze was always so good at playing up to this with his mannerisms and facial expressions, and it's just a huge shame he was released in 2021. He was never really given a proper chance once he was done in NXT, even though when you think about it, this character is tailor-made for the main roster. It's a missed opportunity, no doubt. If he ever does return to WWE 2 and they bust this out, I bet it still gets a good reaction, because if something works once, it's probably going to work again. Know of any other wrestlers that sang their own entrance theme music? Make sure you let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to like the video, share the video, and subscribe. Then head over to whatculture.com where you can read yourself some articles. Make sure you come follow us on Twitter at WhatCultureWWE and SimonMiller316. And if you'd like to watch another video, know that I will be saying thank you. My name is Simon from WhatCulture. I appreciate you tuning in. Make sure you give yourself a hug today and I will talk to you again very soon.